Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Recently, Paga has given a platform update, Infinity 24.2. So there are many updates, but I have listed topmost which I felt useful in personal. Another important thing to share is, so for our YouTube channel, we have community tab. In that community tab, I have published many Paga jobs or uh, polls like that. And if any new video is there, that also I'm posting over here. So please do check out this community tab frequently. So whatever LinkedIn posts or some personal posts uh, regarding jobs, I would be posting in this. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMate now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMate. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one-to-one -one chat with you guys. Let's get started into the topic. So first uh, topmost uh, infinity update uh, I felt really very useful as part of developer is uh, creating an application from Janai powered a blueprint. We know that we can create some applications through blueprint where we can select uh, our class, uh, the default case type that you want and all. So you can save that uh, particular uh, application that you created uh, in your local system as a dot blueprint extension. So you can directly create an application. Normally we go for new, create new application, right? There, uh, when you click on new application, we'll get an option like build from a blueprint. So when you select this build from a blueprint, you can select a, like create a blueprint and it will traverse through the blueprint steps. Otherwise, the first step that I have mentioned, the blueprint application, you can directly import into your application. So here, see, once you import this, it would be asking what should be the name of the application name and what is the built on application. Suppose your particular Pega platform have three to four applications, you can select any one of the application and you can see that uh, it will be showing like Pega platform UA constellation. This is based on and uh, built on application order, it will show like this. I have masked a few of the names. Uh, to make sure I'm not violating something. So once we import a blueprint, right, uh, the next step is case types. Here in case types also, you can choose uh, to import from blueprint or you can inherit from the existing. Otherwise, if you do not want to build any uh, thing from this case type, you can select this do not build. And if you want to clone the existing case type that is already present in your application, you can select this clone an existing case type. So when you give in this uh, clone existing uh, case type, it would be showing all the case types that are there under your built on application. So you can select anything and you can do cloning and you can do the changes and coming to data objects, data objects also like we will be having four options like build from blueprint, inherit from existing, reuse from existing or if you do not want to build any uh, data object uh, as of now. You can select any one of the option and here like if you want to add a new data object you can select this add existing data object so this is uh, also like personas so we know that uh, personas are also very plays a very key role so those also if you want to build from blueprint you can select otherwise if you want to inherit from the existing application which is built on so that build on application you can select the personas and once you go for configurations and click submit a new application uh, would be created in fraction of seconds so which makes developers job more easy and you can start customizing the application on your business needs and another thing uh, from 24.2 tries this Jangai event type also so this is very useful so this is one of the sample like a uh, here you can see generative AA and this is a generative request AA response. So like this you can trace some connection AA rules. And another thing, debugging of constellation applications. As we know that uh, PAL like a performance analyzer of logs tool is really very useful. And now it supports uh, applications that you build using Pega UA constellation architecture. 
so you can uh, see here uh, these are all dx api sessions so you can see uh, like uh, this server elapsed time and uh, what is the connection time and all so our uh, debugging mechanism enhanced in 24.2 with the pal2 updates and next is removal of embedded uh, elastic search kafka and cassandra so pagora platform no longer supports uh, these things so you have to use some externalized mode uh, uh, for using these services so the legacy pega provide externalized elastic search using by pega platform or search docker image is also no longer supported if already you have some hazelcast uh, in your application that is still uh, uh, remains deprecated but it is no longer supported in the next 25 version and another thing is removal of java 8 and java 11 so during deployment site right, uh, the deployment tool like if you applications having java 8 or 11 it is uh, no longer supported only java 17 is only supported uh, version of pega deployments next uh, if it is auto generated insight upon case type creation now uh, when you create a case type right you see this particular thing uh, in this screen you can see first uh, so of course uh, this is the case type sales case type example you can see if you want to work a case type like case id order time data priority so these are pre-populated uh, table inside so here you can find the columns related to it and if you want to add more columns like this is already pega given existing one and you can see the landing page so on portal dashboard you can see landing pages right so this is so if you want to just click on this save insert you can click on save insert so the portal and everything will be like automatically created this uh, uh, table inside and uh, another thing is enhancements of uh, data objects and insights so pega platform enables you to define custom insights as landing pages in portal so in portals you can uh, have your data type like that so to make crucial application data more accessible starting from 24.2 we are given uh, like this particular data types that you use that uh, you can uh, use uh, directly from your uh, portals and uh, here they have provided some plus icon where you can give plus and uh, you can add uh, entries to your data type so that is also very useful you don't need to switch to dev studio and uh, add that so that uh, data pages will take that so only privileges of administrators can have this uh, particular portal with uh, this uh, data inside and uh, you can do bulk edit on a case from insights also normally when you open a case and you have uh, some records added to that uh, particular case and you want to do bulk edit of all those instances on the respective case you can you are being given with option bulk edit so you can uh, select all the bulk and if you click on bulk edit a flow action will be populated and you can do whatever uh, you it is required for, for your business needs and next is new consent uh, security policy for constellation unit portals you know like content security policy is one of the key feature uh, in safeguarding our application are uh, used to use same uh, csp rule which is another but content security policy now pega 24.2 comes up with a uh, new csp rule so here there are two modes like a uh, script source and style source directives so in that uh, both options are cleared by default uh, after the updates and instructions you can see these two are enabled which is a note like a number used ones and another is block binary large object so if you select this nonce right uh, it uh, randomly creates 128 uh, bit character on every page load and uh, scripts ma with matching nonce only will be run if scripts, scripts uh, without uh, matching won't be run so any hacking attacks or uh, are happening on your constellation application as this uh, number is different 128 character so pega won't uh, take that script into consideration and it won't run on your constellation UI portals and blob uh, you, you know like this is the best practice like uh, selecting the blob for script source directory of constellation UI portal so blobs can be used by both the traditional and uh, constellation UI portals whereas this one uh, nonce is uh, used only for constellation UI portals it is not uh, used for traditional UI portals so based on your application based structure you have to select uh, any one of this 
and another thing is um, how to enable this so under application definition uh, if you go to content security policy there it will be having options like reject report report only by UA portal both for traditional and cancellation previously we used to have under record security content security policy but now they have updated to application security tab and another thing is uh, we know that uh, agents are replaced with uh, queue processor and job scheduler in 24.2 uh, Pegas has withdrawn the ability of creation of new agents on the platform from any menu of uh, dev studio or admin studio if you are having any agents in your application uh, please upgrade to job scheduler and queue processor and another thing uh, which i felt most uh, important is a uh, security feature like we used to have basic authentication security type right? credentials so now the pega has deprecated that and option is to use a custom key management service to create an external master key for data encryption in pega platform 24.2 and you know that uh, for data case management uh, repository which we which is used as a centralized repository for cases and work uh, performed by users in federation management so now it is entirely deprecated and it is replaced by pega process fabric hub so if you want to know about pega process fabric hub already have a made a video on this you can go through it and uh, this particular feature doesn't have related to federated uh, case management only the repository change is uh, changed and another thing installation update assistant tool so previously we used to uh, click next and uh, we used to install or do updation so now Pega stopped this uh, including this ui based tool from 24.1 uh, so it will uh, actually ask us to do the complete vm base of installation patches or updates and they would be providing some uh, Pega provided command lines you have to use that only and uh, do this uh, upgrade or installation there are many things related to decision management uh, case type security and all i have listed only like uh, topmost that in which i felt useful uh, for my knowledge because the remaining things i did not get a chance to work on it so if you want to see all the updates you can go through this uh, link i would be posting in the description Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. As it is free of course, please share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Share your knowledge as well in comments.